Welcome to Triumph IAS. It's a daily mains practice question and answer series. This program is exclusively designed for UPSC CSE aspirants. In this video discussion, we will discuss UPSC CSE mains previous 25 year questions. Question number 1. Despite implementation of various programs for eradication of poverty by the government in India, poverty is still existing. Explain by giving reasons. Let's start with the introduction of the answer. Several government efforts were made since independence like development of industrial sector, green revolution, LPG reforms, etc. and many programs like Magnarega, SGSY, NRLM, Midday Meal Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Rozgar Yojana, etc. were introduced but still India houses highest number of poors in the world. The main body of the answer should be Number 1. Several government efforts were made since independence like development of industrial sector, green revolution, LPG reforms, etc. and many programs like Magnarega, SGSY, NRLM, Midday Meal Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Rozgar Yojana, etc. were introduced but still India houses highest number of poors in the world. Number 2. Weak and rigid social structure population explosion and limited resources, lack of education and employment opportunities. Weak institutions, corruption and lack of political will. Number 3. Geographical disparities, for example northeastern states, insurgency and violence. Unproductive education system. GDP contribution of agriculture today is less than 20%, though it provides livelihood to half of population. Number 4. ICDS has helped in reducing malnutrition amongst children aged between 0 to 3 years. Midday Meal Scheme is trying to arrest the malnutrition among the school-going children. Mega schemes such as Magnrega have ensured at least the basic level of income to the rural folk. Number 5. Rural to Urban Migration in Search of Better Livelihood Conclusion of the answer is More efforts need to be made by making these programs more inclusive and efficient and providing more opportunities of employment, better infrastructure, etc. to get rid of poverty in coming years. Question number 2. Some of the international funding agencies have special terms for economic participation stipulating a substantial component of the aid to be used for sourcing equipment from the leading countries. Discuss on merits of such terms and if there exists a strong case not to accept such conditions in the Indian context. Let's start with the introduction of the answer. Most of the major international funding agencies like World Bank and IMF have to depend upon the developed and major economies for their finance and management. The main body of the answer should be Number 1. Therefore, it's very natural that such major economies, for example USA, put certain conditionality in terms of investment, purchase and operations. Number 2. Therefore, this creates a handicap upon the freedom of the aid receiving countries in more than one ways. The restrictions are imposed on the developing nations in the form of cap on spending in sectors like education, rural development, etc. Number 3. Additionally, these nations are forced to export, and the growth of domestic products is discouraged to favor multinational companies, MNCs, from the major economies. Number 4. Additionally, these nations are forced to export, and the growth of domestic products is discouraged to favor multinational companies, MNCs, from the major economies. Number 5. The world economies are divided into blocks, and increasing proximity with one block result into weakened relation with the other. For example, in wake of growing Indo US relations, Russia is increasing its proximity with China and Pakistan to deter India. Conclusion of the answer is 
For any country the most viable solution to safeguard its economic interest is to diversify its economic relations and not to remain over dependent on a single country. Question number 3 With growing energy needs should India keep on expanding its nuclear energy program? Discuss the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy. Let's start with the introduction of the answer. The need for nuclear energy lies in the very fact that the hunger for electricity is virtually unending and with each passing decade India's demand for electricity has doubled due to population explosion and rapid industrial growth. The main body of the answer should be number 1 The need for nuclear energy lies in the very fact that the hunger for electricity is virtually unending and with each passing decade India's demand for electricity has doubled due to population explosion and rapid industrial growth. Number 2. It predicts that the country's energy mix will evolve very slowly to 2035 with fossil fuels accounting for 86% of demand in 2035. compared with a global average of 78%. Number 3. According to KPMG report 2007, the transmission and distribution (T&D) losses were worth more than 6 billion dollar per year and it will be very difficult to afford huge loss in the coming years and met the energy demands of the growing population. Number 4. Additionally these nations are forced to export and the growth of domestic products is discouraged to favor multinational companies MNCs from the major economies Number 5 According to KPMG report 2007 the transmission and distribution T&D losses were worth more than 6 billion dollar per year and it will be very difficult to afford huge loss in the coming years and met the energy demands of the growing population Facts about nuclear energy in Indian context. Number 1. India produced only 38 TWh of electricity 2016 to 2017 data from nuclear energy which is only 2.6% of the total generation through various means. Number 2. India's fuel situation with shortage of fossil fuels is driving the nuclear investment for electricity. and 25% nuclear contribution is the ambition for 2050 number 3 india's dependence on imported energy resources and the inconsistent reform of the energy sector are challenges to satisfying rising demand number 4 india is a big nation with huge population and only nuclear energy can meet its future energy demands Nuclear energy is a relatively cleaner source of energy with negligible emission. Number 5. India has acquired the required expertise and technology involved in harnessing nuclear energy. India's admission into major nuclear material regulating agencies like Vasinar Arrangement and Australia Group has created an enabling atmosphere to develop necessary infrastructure. Number 6. The major fear is the possibility of a nuclear accident like Chernobyl which can have far-reaching consequences in terms of lives and environmental pollution. Nuclear power plants are also vulnerable to attacks during a major war with other countries. Conclusion of the answer is The investment in nuclear power plants is huge when compared to its limited operational life. but taking into consideration the benefits associated with nuclear energy and the role it will play towards fulfilling india's energy security outweighs any drawbacks